coming into a flow series to open up the hip from every conceivable angle. Grab a hold of your heel, or if you can't reach your heel, you can also grab your ankle. You can also uh, use a towel or a tie, but it's best to actually hold on to your ankle or foot here. Pull your knee down straight towards the floor, coming into a half happy baby. And then take your leg across, reaching it all as far as it will go, crossing across your body. You may be able to straighten it all the way. And then rebound, crossing it back and across, knee to the floor, back and forth. We're trying to saw open our hip socket here. Sawing it, of course, in a friendly way. And we're using motion to help it open. So we're tricking it into going into a range of motion that maybe it's capable of doing, but that it hasn't done in a while. Each repetition, you wanna to try to go even further, even trying to open your knee on the outside. Just a couple more. Notice that your spine is also gonna turn when you do this. When we open our hips, we get a nice result in the spine as well. Straighten that right leg, and now bend your left knee, grab either the instep or your ankle, and first pull the leg down, finding a half happy baby. It's like a happy baby. And then the baby's so happy that it wants to move its leg across, back and forth, like a seesaw teeter-tot. Feeling all of the muscles on the outside of the hip and the inside of the hip alternating to help open up and mobilize the hip socket and the pelvic bone. Often, when our hips are locked, it causes pain throughout our bodies, especially the spine. Now, increase your range of motion, opening even broader, moving that leg all the way across, letting your spine spiral, Having fun, remember this is a happy baby. And then release.